Hello and welcome. This video is to demonstrate the new MIDI Learn features of the Moog One. In the latest Moog One firmware, we've added extensive control for mapping MIDI controls to the parameters of the Moog One. And you'll find on the settings menu, under MIDI Control, there are some new options, Learn MIDI CC and Edit MIDI Mapping. Learn MIDI CC is where you go to associate MIDI controls with the parameters on the panel of the Moog One. And highlight and press the encoder to enter the menu, and you'll see that it's set up very similarly to the way the Moog One already assigns controllers and modulation sources. You're prompted to turn a knob or press a button to choose the parameter that you want to control. So I'll turn the ladder filter cutoff knob. The name of the parameter is shown on the screen, and you're now prompted listening for MIDI CC messages. So in this case, let's imagine that the Moog One is across the studio, and I want to control it from a controller that's right next to my mix position. I can reach over to the controller, turn a knob, and the Moog One automatically detects the MIDI controller that came in and shows you that the mapping has been done. So you can press done, and that mapping now exists, and my remote control is now controlling the ladder filter cutoff of the Moog One. It's very easy to assign additional controls. You can go back to learn MIDI CC, pick another parameter, choose another knob, the mapping is done. You can stay on this screen, just like when you're adding multiple modulation destinations. You can just keep going from within the same UI. I can choose Add Mapping, pick another parameter, choose another MIDI control, and repeat and repeat. So it's very easy to map as many controls as you want to use, just as quickly as you can select the parameters and turn the knob or press the button or send the MIDI CC that you want to map. When that's done, you can press Done and you can review and edit all of the MIDI mappings that exist by using Edit MIDI Mapping, also found on the MIDI control menu. And this will show you a UI that's very similar to the mod matrix, where each mapping has its own row. It shows you the MIDI controller number, the resolution, whether it's 7-bit or 14-bit, and the destination is shown by module or category, as it's called here. Category is essentially module by module, and then the controlled parameter. So from here, it's very easy to change the CC number that is mapped to the parameter, to change the parameter that's mapped to the CC. You can delete mappings. You can totally manage how the Moog One responds to remote MIDI control from this mapping page. And you can also go right back into the Learn menu from the Edit page as well. So I will quickly set up all the mappings that I want to two filters and two resonances, and it's that easy. Thanks for watching. I hope you've seen how easy it is to map MIDI controls from the outside world to the Moog One to automate all of the parameters on the panel. If you have any questions or if you want to chat with someone from Moog about it, please visit our website and hit up the chat link. Thanks very much for watching.